Hi, and welcome to the first uh, unboxing video here at Well Dressed Dad. Um, got a few boxes here. Top one is today's, and it's from the Companion Denim in Barcelona. Nice vintage inspired print on the, on the lid here. I've never found a companion that was as companionable as Solitude. So, what do we know about Companion Denim? Well, you've probably read the report I wrote from my visit there this summer. It's uh, on the blog, link down below here. Um, spent uh, half a day with uh, you, Francesco, at his uh, workshop just outside Barcelona. Full of vintage sewing machines, full of rare denim, a uh, whole rack full of rare Japanese salvage denim. And it's just you. Just one guy making jeans. He spends about a day on each pair, uh, which means they're not your average cheap high street jeans, but they are quality. So what have I got in this box? Well, when I was there, I uh, observed some very special denim, which got me thinking. And what I have here is a pair of jeans custom made to my order, and hopefully my size. So what have we got? Well, it says companion crafted with a couple of hands, a few vintage classical machines and the finest salvage denim. The smell of raw, a companion for life, the hands and the crafts. Well, sure. Um, there's a specification tab. Uh, it's a custom style, natural indigo and iCat inside, 13 and a half ounce denim and a custom fit. And a little bit of the denim here as reference. So, what is special about this denim? 13 and a half ounce, yes indeed. Definitely raw, you can see the selvage. Um, slightly brown on the inside, and that's uh, part of it, because it's got a natural indigo wall, so what's going that way is natural indigo coloured. What goes that way, the weft, is persimmon dyed, which gives it a slightly brown colour. Then on the outside, hard to see in the light, but the combination gives an almost purple effect of the blue and the brown mixing. Very distinctive, and lots of different like that. So, what else is uh, different about these? Well, the arcuate on the rear pockets, in blue, so it's hardly visible, but it's got a companion trademark variant. We've got a uh, rear cinch, I went for the simple variant. Um, companion also do a much more elaborate vintage style one. I just wanted the, the functional look. Custom leather patch. And looking here, we have, uh, we have the copper rivets with leather strengthening disc on the back. We have copper laurel buttons on the fly. You notice that the fly is actually fully lined on the inside. And we also see we have this wonderful iCat fabric. It's a Japanese cotton fabric uh, coloured using a special uh, method which I can't remember right now. We also have heavyweight cotton striped pockets. I could have had the pockets in iCat, but I didn't want to risk them uh, breaking. The iCat material isn't as strong as the canvas. Uh, see the fly also has the leather backings, so it's quality all the way. A um, little affectation here, a little selvage loop to hang your keys from, and another little selvage bit peeping on the sides of the key pocket, uh, coin pockets. Uh, so really a pair of um, regular five pocket jeans, a vintage notch at the back as well. Uh, I did have one slight thing I wanted done on them. Uh, I know some say that uh, you can't have felled seams on uh, raw denim. Well, I think you can, uh, especially when it's a fairly mild 13 and a half ounce denim. So the inside of the legs has proper felled seams. Call me a nerd, but 
I just hate the look of overlocked seams when you have turnips. It just looks so cheap. These look proper though. So, that's it really. Um, what do they cost? Well, once you consider that you spend the whole day making them, he does it all with his own two hands and includes shipping of 450 euros, which of course is a lot more than you'd pay for your typical high street brand. But given what goes into them and the rarity of the denim, which will only cost more than a few regular pair of jeans, I think it's actually quite a fair price. And um, I'll post some more close up details underneath this video on the blog. Uh, I hope you enjoyed enjoy this, and maybe next week I'll be back with another unboxing for you. Have a nice evening.